Vietnamese have long praised the authentic Vietnamese food offered by the Pig and the Lady stand at farmers markets on Oahu. And now you'll finally have a chance to taste their dishes in a real restaurant on North King Street near Chinatown. This is the tale of how they got their name and found a new home. A pigtail, if you'll pardon the pun. How we got our name is one of our most like, common questions. My mom was always a good cook. She's considered the lady, and all her kids are considered the pigs. So I, I'm born in the year of the pig. So we always had like a, a strange affinity for pigs, you know. The pig and the lady, it's an homage to, uh, to my home and to my mom. Uh, my dad was, you know, a translator for the special forces during the war. They were able to escape. They were on their way to a refugee camp in Arkansas. On the plane, my mom was nine months pregnant uh, with my oldest brother, Anderson. She goes into labor. And we're gonna stop by in Hawaii at Tripper Hospital to, uh, you know, refuel. But, you know, she, my mom had to go, you know, give birth. And the plane left, and then we're here now. I never realized that I wanted to be a cook until I went to art school. I always wanted to be doing something creative with my hands. I kind of quickly realized I don't have the patience to be like a traditional artist, you know? For me, I don't have patience for that. Like, I need something kind of immediate gratification. I fell into cooking because, oh, you know, make a scramble an egg. Wow, this is, I'm making something. Or, you know, I'm gonna make a broth. Or I'm gonna make something from this Mediterranean dish. Or I'm gonna go, you know? So it kind of took you all over the place, you know? And it, you, it's easy to tend to just give it to someone and then they're gonna tell you if it's good or not, like right then and there. They can't lie, you know? I think cooking is, it's art on the plate, but it's also flavor balance, it's emotional. Um, it's like something that speaks to you through your childhood. Food is romantic. I worked in some kitchens just for about like six months for no pay. You know, I, I, I would take anything that was available, even if it was just like mopping floors or whatever. I just wanted to experience what it took. And then I had the opportunity to go to school um, in New York at this Culinary Institute of America. And the program was very extensive, went through, went through a lot of depth with like classical training, classical flavors, classical French stuff. And for me, it's like I creating things, I'm creating you know, food, you know, I'm making people happy, you know, and we're creating experiences and memories and stuff like that. that that's what it's all about. When I was working at this restaurant called Chef Marlboro, I had the privilege of being um, under Kevin Chong. He was the chef de cuisine at the time. Amazing talent. One of the best chefs that I will ever know. You know, I spent about five and a half years there. I ended up as being the, his right-hand man. And, you know, through him, I've, we learned everything that I did in school and, you know, kind of built a super solid foundation. And because of that, like, you know, when you, it's time for you to kind of create a dish, or for, for you to find your own voice and style of how you cook or present food, um, it's, uh, it, it kind of flew, like, flowed a lot better, a lot easier because of him. And now that we have um, a space, it was like we had nothing, now we have everything, you know? So in the beginning, it was like, uh, it was still kind of shocked. It was like, what do we do, you know? Um, but it's gonna allow us to reach our full potential. Um, our target date for opening is mid-November. Um, we're gonna be featuring lunch, dinner, a late night menu. Um, but also we'll be maintaining the farmer's market. The type of food that we do is very much has a Southeast Asian foundation. In Vietnamese cuisine, there's always contrasting flavors, like sweet, sour, salty, spicy, crunchy, soft, you know? Like, that's the philosophy that I've learned. So now I apply it to whatever, whatever taste that I'm inspired at the moment. That's why it's awesome to be at the farmer's market because there's all these vegetables, different things that I've never seen before. And, you know, I'm the type where I know what to do with the ingredient once it gets in my hand, you know? So like, oh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a plan until I actually get it. And then the ingredient will tell me what to, do, what to make it. At the time, we were looking for a space. At the end, I said, uh, what about Chinatown? What do you think about Chinatown? We kind of had low expectations, you know? Uh, but once you step in, it just was like blown away. It was like, what? You know, it was crazy. Like high ceilings, brick wall, 
all this space, you know, updated facilities, everything is really great. I'm, I'm good in the kitchen, but other than that, I'm not really good at anything else, you know. Um, as a design aspect, my fiance Terry, she's really, really great. You know, she has such a great eye. And we've been collaborating with um, Mara Fujihira from Fish Cake Hawaii. And, you know, their aesthetic is very similar, you know. So that's why, like, this design process has been very easy and organic and just kind of going with the flow. But very much like how we like to approach food and to create an experience as well. Um, our partnership with Pacific Gateway, we're going to be assisting in their program to help underprivileged um, refugees and low-income uh, citizens. Our role is, is that we're going to be training, training them and giving them entrepreneurial skills to succeed in the food industry. The Pacific Gateway Center recently moved their offices from here on North King Street to Umi Street in Kalihi, where their kitchen incubator facilities are located. Over the past 40 years, they've helped thousands of immigrants, refugees, and low-income residents find work or start new businesses. And now it's our chance to thank PGC for all they've done to make Hawaii a better place. Please join us on Sunday, November 24th from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. for their 40th anniversary celebration at Kehi Lagoon Memorial Park. There will be great food, cultural performances, and music. But most of all, this is an opportunity for us to say mahalo to Dr. Miang and the wonderful staff at the Pacific Gateway Center. They truly make a difference, and you can too, by ordering tickets for this very special event. For details, go to www.pacificgatewaycenter.org or call 851-7010.